So I asked the question, what is the first thing you need to do when you want to lose weight? And I asked this in my private Facebook group. If you want to join, go to Facebook and search women over 40 lose weight and ditch diets. But when I asked this, I got a lot of really good differing answers, but there really is only one thing that you need to do first to be successful in losing weight for good. So welcome to the Shape It Up Over 40 podcast. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. I have been in the weight loss business for almost two decades now, <laughs> and there is always some new diet coming out, which by the way, there are not any new diets. They just keep tweaking the old ones and putting a new spin on them and spitting them out. Diets all have the same three principles restrict certain foods or times of day, set up complicated rules that you must follow. And once you stop the diet, you will gain all the weight back and then some. I know you think it needs to be complicated and hard. You're a high achiever. If something comes easy to you, it's like you didn't earn it and it doesn't count, right? But what if you were wrong? What if weight loss could be flexible? simpler and actually enjoyable. Would you think it would work? For women who are deep in dieters mentality, you're going to think that what I said is absolutely impossible for you. There is no way I can lose weight eating whatever I want and only doing certain activities. I have to be strict with myself or I'll never lose the weight. Sound familiar? If that's you, how is that working out for you? Have you lost the weight permanently? And if you have, by some strange occurrence, are you blissfully happy eating and doing what you are doing to keep that weight off? I am going to guess that you are not. Because if you were loving the way that you were losing weight, you would not be listening to this podcast. Working with me, you will learn how to eat all your favorite foods and still watch the inches drop. You will get a customized workout program that incorporates fun activities that you love and ways to build your muscles and bones so you can live independently as you age. Understanding why you keep sabotaging yourself and never have fully succeeded at permanent weight loss is the biggest part of working with me. This is the mindset coaching. This is where you will learn so much about why you do what you do, why you keep losing, then gaining the weight back. It's not the food or the workouts that are sabotaging you. It's the way you look at the whole process. I know you are tired of seeing the scale go up and down and then really up again. I know you're fed up with the strictness and the mind games while you are trying to lose weight. It does not have to be this way. Clients come to me frustrated, frantic about food, micromanaging everything they eat, confused because they think they are doing everything right, but the weight is just not coming off. Then they work with me. And in six months, they are loving the way their body looks and feels. They're relaxed around food. They are comfortable eating their favorite foods and not worrying about gaining the weight back. They have clarity on exactly how to lose the weight and understand how to keep it off no matter what is going on in their life. I want you to know that this is possible for you too. If you want to work with me, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call and schedule your discovery call today. All right, so let's dive into the topic. So let's talk about the question that I asked in the Facebook group. What is the first thing you need to do when you want to lose weight? I will give you a second to think about that and just see what comes up. See if the answers come up that are similar to what my group said. So again, I asked this in my Facebook group and these are some of the answers that I got. I'm gonna share them with you. And I'm also gonna share why these are not the first things that you need to do. And then I'm going to give you my answer. So now, before I get started, I just want to say there was nothing wrong with any of these answers from the group. 
okay? As a health coach who focuses a lot on mindset, I can clearly see where each person is at and their thought process based on their answer that they gave me. So the first one, exercise more. This is a hundred percent dieters mentality. This is the old, you must eat like a rabbit and do tons of cardio, right? You remember being told that as a child or the imprint from a child, if you grew up in the seventies, eighties or the nineties, you, you heard that <laughs> you do not need to exercise more. In fact, you do not need to exercise at all in order to lose weight. Yeah, you didn't think you'd hear that from a personal trainer and someone who has a medical degree in physical therapy. But no, you do not need to exercise to lose scale weight. Exercise is important for your heart health, bone mass, strong muscles, which assist in losing body fat. And also so important because then you can open those spaghetti jars, fold your laundry, walk up steps without needing or requesting an oxygen mask, right? So more exercise is not the first thing. The next one, eating a diet of whole foods. This is also dieters mentality and really impossible to do unless you are growing your own foods. Yes, absolutely, you can eat foods that are considered healthier for you, but do that because it makes you feel physically better, not because you think you should. There is also plenty of space for non-whole foods as well. Part of the dieter's mentality is almost an elitist aspect, and trust me, I say that with kindness because I have been there. <laughs> I was a food snob for a while and it's almost like whole foods are superior and if you don't eat anything but you're not doing it right and i'll tell you the secret to the whole foods types of diets you wind up eating a bunch of vegetables which make you feel fuller and have more fiber all good things right but again it's going back to those diet rules that i talked about earlier in this podcast when I have done those types of eating a ton of vegetables, because I've done that too, I never felt completely full. Like my stomach was full, but I wasn't satisfied. If you're like me, sometimes you need something a little heavier in your stomach. Plus, you will be going number two a lot, especially if you're not used to eating that much fiber. So it just flushes out of you. That's a whole nother topic. <laughs> Again, I'm not saying that this is a bad idea, but if it's coming from the thought that you should eat it, or more importantly, you're shaming yourself when you don't eat whole foods. Again, this is where working with me on mindset is going to be so incredibly helpful for you. But eating whole foods is not the first thing either. The next one, believing you can. Now, I love this one, but not the first thing. So believing in yourself that you can lose weight is huge because most women that come to me don't believe they can lose weight or if they do, they think they need to beat themselves into submission for it to work, which is why when I first start working with a new client, Anyone who doesn't believe in themselves, they get to lean on my belief in them. Any woman who comes and works with me can lose weight and or inches. I know my program works. So working together, there's no doubt in my mind that you cannot lose weight. You will lose the weight working with me. So believing you can is not the answer. It's a good one, it's not the answer, it's not the first one. The next one was sleep more. Now I know that um, the person who posted this, was, it was partly in jest <laughs> and sleep is part of the weight loss process for sure. 
all kinds of great things happen when you're sleeping, cortisol levels drop, hormones for healthy muscles come out to play. Plus you just feel great when you are well rested, but it is still not the first thing. So this next one, I adore. So the next suggestion was, or the answer was call Nicole Simonin, right? Call me. <laughs> yes, this is probably step number two to getting you lasting weight loss, but it's still not the first thing, but I do appreciate that response. <laughs> the next um, answer was make a plan. Absolutely another good one, but you can't make a plan without the very first thing which I'm getting to. Most women jump into the plan first. I can attest to this multiple times in my past. I would think I just need a better workout plan. I would plan out a detailed workout. Again, personal trainer, right? <laughs> then I would plan out all the food. What I was exactly going to eat and when. Detail, right? Micromanaging. I would spend hours, I'm not even joking, I would spend hours just on my own programs, designing the perfect plan, and I would get so amped up, and then you know what would happen? I would be so exhausted from designing the plan that I would tell myself, I'll start tomorrow, and when tomorrow would roll around, I would look at that detailed micromanaged plan and go, wow, that is too hard. AKA it's too complicated. So no, making a plan is not the first thing either. The next answer, love yourself enough to know you deserve whatever you set your mind to. Again, I love this also, but how many of you ladies out there are like, I love myself, so let's go I find a diet. I absolutely will hate eating and an exercise program that I really don't want to do at all, but I'll do it because I love myself and I deserve to be skinny. I am making a little fun, but most women who come to me are so frustrated with their body that love and deserving are so far from their minds right? You're so fed up with your body. You're like, why won't you work with me? You don't like me. So I don't like you back. Right. All right. Not the first thing, right? Next one, lower stress levels. Again, great answer. This is also another important part of weight loss, but it is not the first step. Having higher stress levels will increase cortisol, right? Your stress hormone, which makes it really challenging to lose weight, but not impossible. But again, this is part of what I work on with my clients. Do you know how much stress you are adding literally to your plate when you go on a diet? Next one, drink more water. Another good one, but this could also fall into dieters mentality. Have you ever heard drink more water because it'll fill you up so you won't want to eat any more food? How about you just drink water because it makes you feel good and it's great for your body? Again, not the first thing. So the next one is fully commit to change. This one was the closest. So when you think about change, there is a lot going on inside your brain that is totally against this idea. You have heard me talk about your primitive brain or your subconscious brain, right? Your brain does not want to change anything. If you are alive and breathing, your brain thinks all is well. It also is like, look, we have spent a lot of time creating all these habits and all these ways of thinking that are keeping you alive right now. Why on earth would you want to change that? <laughs> this is why you think it's so incredibly hard to lose weight. You don't want to change. You are getting something out of being the person you are being right now. All right, so drum roll, please, right? Here we go. The answer to the question, what is the first thing you need to do when you want to lose weight? The answer is you need to commit. Commit to the process. 
Commit to getting it all wrong and keep on going anyway. Commit to taking care of your body from now until you are no longer on this planet. Commit to you. That is the first step. Make a commitment that you will not stop no matter how hard it seems, no matter what life throws at you, no matter if you do not see any physical changes for six months or more. Once you commit, you will eliminate a bunch of options and you will have such focus on your goal. And the next step is to work with me. Because if you are deep in the dieter's mentality and you want weight loss to be simple, you are going to need help and support, both of which I can give you, along with so much more during your journey. There will be times when you want to give up, but when you want to learn about my approach to food, movement, and mindset, you are going to have the support and tools you need to commit to your weight loss goal and to keep the leaner, healthier body you created for the rest of your life. Another thing about commitment, it takes a split second to decide to commit. Do not be fooled into thinking you need to weigh out pros and cons or keep searching because if you're listening to this podcast right now, you know that I can help you. Decide to commit and then go to shapeitupfitness.com slash call right now so you can get started today on losing the weight for the last time. Every second you wait to commit just pushes you further and further away from your weight loss goal. When you get on your call with me, tell me how committed you are to taking care of this body that you have. Share what you are frustrated most about as you attempt to lose weight. Then tell me what you really want to see change with your body. One of the great things about jumping on this call with me is that you get my expert eyes on your problems. I will tell you what you are doing that is keeping you stuck. We are going to talk about what it would be like to work together. If you are all in on working together so you can experience the most simplest way to lose weight, we will get started right then on the call. Imagine in six months being down 20 pounds or in one year being down 50 pounds, all while eating your favorite foods, eating out, while vacationing, while celebrating all the holidays, while loving your journey. If you want that, schedule your call today at shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L at the end. Have a beautiful week. And I will talk to you soon.